guys, my name is Sabina Anjali Suraya from 11 Science 9. Now I'm going to tell you about COVID-19. What is COVID-19? How COVID-19 spread to human? And how to protect yourself and others from COVID-19? Check it out! Coronaviruses are a type of virus. There are many different kinds, and some cause disease. A newly identified type has caused a recent outbreak of respiratory illness, now called COVID-19. COVID-19 appeared in Wuhan, a city in China, in December 2019. Although health officials are still tracing the excess throws of this new coronavirus, early hypothesis thought it may be linked to a seafood market in Wuhan, China. Some people who visit the market develop viral pneumonia caused by the new coronavirus. COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, and shortness of breath. In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problems, kidney failure, or death. First, clean your hands often. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 16% of alcohol. Cover all surface of your hands and rub them together until they feel dry. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. Second, avoid close contact. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Put distance between yourself and other people if COVID-19 is spreading in your community. This is especially important for people who are at higher risk of getting very sick. First, stay home. Stay home if you are sick, expect to get medical care. Second, cover your coughs and sneezes. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze or use the inside of your elbow. Throw used tissues in the trash. Immediately, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not readily available, clean your hand with a hand sanitizer that contains at least 16% of alcohol. Third, wear a face mask. If you are sick, you should wear a face mask when you are around other people and before you enter a healthcare provider's office. If you are not able to wear a face mask, you should do your best to cover your coughs and sneezes and people who are caring for you should wear a face mask if they enter your room. If you are not sick, you do not need to wear a face mask unless you are caring for someone who is sick. Face masks may be in short supply and they should be safe for caregivers. The last steps, clean and disinfect. Clean and disinfect frequently touch surface daily. This includes tables, light switches, handles, phones, keyboards, toilets, and sinks. If surfaces are dirty, clean them use detergent or soap and water prior to disinfection. 
that is my explanation thank you bye bye